Y'all see these women here? Four years ago, I did a video exposing Black Lives Matter as a black feminist LGBT movement that is specifically used to promote the black LGBT movement and community into the black community. And it is to remove the black male completely out of the picture. The only way black men are allowed, according to the founders of Black Lives Matter, which are these three lesbians, they are feminists and they hate you, black men. And I'm going to show it to you. I'm not going to just tell you shit. I've exposed these bitches before. And apparently I got to expose them again because I cannot believe Black Lives Matter is about basically coming out of your mouths again. These women hate you, black men. The only way you're accepted into that movement is unless you're gay or you're a trans woman. That's the only way. Other than that, they do not like straight black men. Allow me to show you the proof. So I went to their site before. Okay. That's right. Or did. There you go. That's right. Or did. I went to their website before and I have exposed them before. Right. Hold on. Let me just show you. Make sure I'm, let me just show you I'm on their site. Okay. This is their site. This is Black Lives Matter site. Okay. All right. Now. Here you have the about, if you go, can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. So if you go to their website and you click on the about page, you got, well, you got uh, another co-founder. And these are nothing but black women who are also lesbians and they hate black men. They have no interest in black men. So you have the co-founders, which are two black women are lesbians and you have three of the founders who are lesbians and they all don't like straight black men. So then you go, so then you got her story. What the fuck does her story have to do with Black Lives Matter? Ah, don't worry about it. Let's go to what we believe. Oh, this is my favorite part. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? What we believe. If you still fuck with Black Lives Matter after I show you what they really think about you, you deserve everything you get. Let's click on it. What we believe. So once you get through all this bullshit about Trayvon Mountain and, oh, we hear Black Global, blah, blah, blah. Then we get down to their agenda. Let's read it. We see ourselves as part of the global black family. That's communism. I'll talk about that later. And we are aware of the different ways we are impacted or privileged as black people who exist in different parts of the world. We are guided by the fact that all black lives matter regardless of actual or perceived sexual identity, gender identity gender expression <laughs> black foes what does black lives matter have the fuck to do with sexual identity gender identity and gender expression oh don't worry i'll tell it to you economic status communism they don't want no there's no such thing as poor or rich everybody got to be all fucked up on one payment scale i'll talk about that later ability and disability religious beliefs or disbeliefs immigration status or location isn't immigration fucking up the black community as it is i do believe that compton is no longer black anymore because of immigration all right but let me just go on let me go on we make space for transgender brothers and sisters to participate and lead. Let me say it again, just in case you niggas forgot how to fucking comprehend words. 
we make space for transgender brothers and sisters to participate and lead. Do you know that you cannot be a straight black male or even a straight black female and hold a leader leadership position in the Black Lives Matter organization? Did you not know this? If you're straight, you have no need for them, except, except when they want you for muscle, when they want you to riot and get shot and to sit up here and get killed and do all kinds of vandalism and this, that, and that. They want you as foot soldiers because you're expendable. But you will never hold leadership position as somebody straight. They call us sis. Let's go on and continue to read. We are self-reflective and do work required to dismantle cisgendered privilege. Now, those of you who don't know what cisgendered privilege means, it means biologically straight. It means you are a straight man or a straight woman. They have no need for anyone who is heterosexual in their movement, and they do not promote heterosexuality in the black community. And uplift black trans folks, especially black trans women who continue to de be disproportionately impacted by trans antagonistic violence. So when y'all go out there and tell us I'm Black Lives Matter, this is what you're dying for. This is what you're fighting for, dumbasses. We build a space that affirms Black women. Hey, where's Black man at? Just Black women? Aren't we having a problem with the matriarchy as it is? We build a space that affirms black women and is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which, in which men are centered. Oh, you hate to see it, don't you? You hate to see it. <laughs> and you niggas are going out there and you're dying for these motherfuckers. Okay? You hate to see it. <laughs> how could you be so stupid but see here's the deal here's the deal they know what they're doing they're hiding it in plain sight they're hiding it in plain sight because they know you niggas don't read they know you niggas don't read we practice empathy. We engage comrades. By the way, comrades is communism. I'm going to show you. A lot of you all don't know, understand how fucked up communism is. I'll explain that when we get to Antifa in a minute. With the intent to learn about and connect with their context, we make our spaces family friendly and enable parents to fully prepare participate with their children we dismantle the patriarchal practice we dismantle the patriarchal practice that requires mothers to work double shifts bullshit so that they can mother in private even as they participate in public justice work and here's the last pro oh hold on hold on we disrupt the western prescribed nuclear family meaning that they don't want the man in the home with the children unless he's a transsexual woman or he's gay you heterosexual men do not belong in the home of a nuclear family We already have a problem. We already have a problem of men not being in a home. And these fucking bitches right here are trying to make sure that it's that way. How could you even utter the goddamn words Black Lives Matter? And let's be true. 
Let's be truthful about it, black folks. Black lives don't matter to black folks. Come on now. Who y'all trying to be new to? Who y'all trying to be new to? Really? Really? But we'll get to that in a minute. And then they talk about to extend families as villages that collectively care for one another, especially our children, to the degree that mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. By the way, there's no fathers. Did you see this? That mothers, parents, and children. Parents means transgender women and transgender men and gay men and lesbians. Those are parents. But you notice you don't see the word father. Did you see the word father here? Let me ask them. I could be blind. I could be blind. Does anybody see the word father? Chat, you see the word father in here? I don't see it either. It isn't it important that we have fathers in our lives? Let's continue to read. We foster a queer affirming network. <laughs> We foster a queer affirming network. When we gather, we do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative. Heteronormative. That means if you are straight, you have no business and you are not, you have no business in Black Lives Matter and they do not see you as something worth fighting for. Thinking or rather the belief that all the world are heterosexual, less than 1%, less than 1%, less than 1% of the black community falls underneath the LGBT umbrella. Yet these bitches fostered an entire movement based upon that extreme small percent. Yeah, and still you motherfuckers are going out to Black Lives Matter, Black Lives, which is a fucking lie. But um, just in case you think I'm lying, I'm going to give you guys the link. Feel free to check it yourself. Spread the word. I thought I have, I thought I took care of this bullshit before, but apparently it's been resurfaced. Here's the link. Know thy enemy, black folks. Without straight people, these three hand hateful females wouldn't exist. There you go, the man in black. There you go. Know thy enemy. Know thy enemy. Know thy enemy. You need to recognize your enemies for who they are. Now, let's talk about.